as the floods have devastated in Punjab this time. Floods in Punjab has majorly affected farmers and their crops. The 2025 flooding of Punjab is the worst in the region's history. Almost 1,400 villages have been submerged, over 3 lakh acres of farmlands been destroyed and affecting more than 3.5 lakh people residing in Punjab. The record-level flooding has swallowed farmlands reciting the hopelessness of innocent farmers. The floods have killed at least 50-plus people. Although the floods and landslides are common during India's June to September monsoon season, but after the dramatic incident happening, experts say climate change and poorly planned development are making them worse. A concern to observe is that Punjab being the largest supplier of rice and wheat to India's largest food security program is prone to floods easily due to some reasons. Punjab faced heavy to extremely heavy rainfall in 24 out of 31 days. And Punjab averaged 400% more rainfall in August than normal. The Black Flood, the major contamination event where the heavily polluted Buddha Nula in Ludhiana overflowed, mixing toxic industrial chemicals with flood water, creating a dangerous environmental hazard. Soil Texture Alteration, Punjab Agricultural University, PAU, research confirms that floods have reshaped the soil profile. At sites near rivers, four to five feet of sand and silt have been deposited, which is devoid of nutrients, posing a massive challenge for the upcoming Rabi, wheat sowing. Restoration cost, removing just one foot of sand requires approximately 350 trolleys per acre and costs an estimated 8,000 to 12,000 rupees per acre. Infrastructure loss, farm machinery like tractors, pump sets, etc., have been registered losses estimated at 300 crore to 400 crore rupees. The state government sprang into action on September 8th, 2025 and announced that Rs 20,000 will be given to every farmer whose fields and crops have been affected and farmers lining along the riverbanks will now not need any permission to extract or sell sand. Chief Minister Bhagwant Maan further said that landowners will now be free to remove and sell the sand that has been deposited in their fields since the cabinet adopted the Jizda Khet Uzdi Reth policy. Man said that in addition to helping farmers, this approach would enable them to restore their fields for cultivation. Our proposed AI-based solution isn't just about prediction. It's an end-to-end -end framework designed for comprehensive flood management in Punjab's agricultural sector. It integrates cutting-edge technologies to create a resilient system. Data inputs, satellite imagery, rainfall, soil moisture, river levels, historical flood data, weather forecasts, topographical maps, IOT sensor data, water level sensors in rivers slash canals, soil moisture sensors in fields. AI model uses machine learning algorithms like LSTM, long short-term memory, networks in random forests to analyze complex spatio-temporal data and predict flood risk with unprecedented accuracy, even at a village or farm level. Output generates flood risk maps, probability scores, and expected inundation levels for specific areas days in advance. An advanced drone with glowing blue accents hovers over a lush green agricultural field at sunrise with patches of water. Below the drone, a holographic grid overlays the field, highlighting different sections in green, healthy, light blue, waterlogged, and red, destroyed. In the foreground, a tablet displays a real-time agriculture dashboard with a pie chart showing crop damage severity percentages for healthy, waterlogged, and destroyed areas, along with images of healthy and damaged crops. While the potential is immense, implementing such a system comes with challenges. Data collection and integration, ensuring seamless flow from diverse sources, IoT, satellite, ground sensors, infrastructure investment, initial costs for sensors, drones, and robust computing power. 
digital literacy, training farmers to effectively use the technology and interpret alerts, data privacy and security, protecting sensitive agricultural and personal data, model accuracy and validation, continuously refining AI models with new data to ensure high prediction accuracy.